Well, hi folks, uh, September 17th. Hey, we're six days away from uh, Trudeau releasing his uh, his budget. It's going to be interesting. Trust everybody's fine. Uh, still a bit smoky here on the island, but not as bad as it was. Sort of cleared up a little bit. One of the things that I have been noticing that... Uh, now there's talk about increasing numbers and increasing cases and hints that they may have to go back to a lockdown. And the question I have is why don't any of these scientific pundits let tell people what they could do to maybe protect themselves from getting a, a virus? Um, you know, so I've put on, I've added some links from I think three doctors and uh, it's intriguing uh, and they're talking about taking uh, vitamin D3, vitamin C, that sort of thing and these doctors all do this themselves there's uh, Dr. Col uh, Dr. Um, Campbell is, uh, recites uh, an interesting article or an email from another doctor who was in touch with Dr. Fauci and even Dr. Fauci takes vitamin D3 and vitamin C. Now, why don't they tell people this? You, you don't find any mainstream media talking head tell you about that. Uh, you don't find uh, Dr. Tam or Dr. Henry or any of these uh, people who are instigating the lockdowns and the distancing and the masks. You don't find them telling you that either. So I'm, these are really interesting links. Uh, uh, check it out for yourself. If doctors are using that themselves, why won't they tell you? And of course, these doctors, like Dr. Shield, he has said this many times. Here's what I do. Just and say you should do it, but here's what I do. And if you can't get the hint, I guess what can you do? What can you get? Same with Dr. Campbell. Now the question is, perhaps they can't. Big pharmaceutical companies do not want people talking about simple, inexpensive things that can help you maintain your immune system. But with fall, we're almost, uh, fall is here, and uh, of course with colds and flu season and all that, maybe it's worth checking these out to look after yourself. Interesting. Why don't they tell us? Um... Some other interesting things that happened. It looks like the Portland riots have stopped. Bang! Uh, why is that? Uh, in the last three, four days, there have been a lot of just thousands of tremors along the west coast. Not earthquakes, but uh, tremors. And uh, maybe those tremors have uh, sent a message to these people. Who knows? What else is interesting? Uh, of course, every, the craziness sort of continues. I see in Minneapolis the council is uh, wondering uh, why uh, why is there so much increase in crime? Where are the police? These are the same clowns who voted to get rid of the police to change the whole system and defund it. And I think close to a hundred police officers have sort of left the force. And uh, here are these clowns who we pay, ta not we, but in uh, Minneapolis, taxpayers pay for their private security. Uh, but now they're wondering, where in the hell are the police? Why aren't they doing their job? Good question. It's only idiots could have that conversation, and obviously these people are. It's uh, mind-blowing. And of course, we have to think, we vote these people in. Last link I'm going to, I'm also going to put a link into uh, a good interview with uh, uh, regarding the, the perhaps upcoming budget and uh, elections and that uh, from a conservative side of view. And it's, it's an intriguing interview that uh, shed some light on some things that maybe you know and didn't or didn't know if you're Canadian or maybe you don't want to know. But for those who are curious, the interview is good. That's about all for today. Take care and bye for now.